The Honors Bachelor of Musical Arts program, BMA, here at CCPA, is a program for students that want to combine excellent study in music, being in ensembles, being in lessons, with life in a larger university. I think a lot of people who are attracted to the BMA know that they love music and art, but they also love something else. As a BMA student, I am still given all of the same opportunities that music performance majors receive. However, I'm also allowed to pursue other academic paths. So one of the things I really like about the BMA program is that I was able to choose my secondary degree path, and with Dr. Kernan we were able to choose what classes best fit my future. It's a degree that has a lot of curricular flexibility so that a student comes in and meets with me, this, their advisor, every single semester and we talk about what they want to do as their long-term career goal. That might be music performance, it might be another area related to music, or it might be an area outside of music that somehow the performing arts are really going to inform. And we come up with a curriculum from all of CCPA's offerings and all of Roosevelt's offerings that will best help them meet that goal. We've come up with a number of different models that students use in the BMA program. These are examples. You still customize the program based on your needs. But one example is our Performance Plus, where a student takes the large majority of courses they would as a performance major, but we have credit hours that are adjusted a little bit differently in those courses so that students have the extra time to study in a secondary area in another part of the university. What I like about the BMA program is that I still am able to perform, and none of my performance opportunities were cut short. Um, and I still have lessons, I still have coachings, I'm still in ensembles, but it gives me a chance to do more than music. Music Arts and Humanities is a, an example of a program where a student really wants to divide their time between musical performance study and academic study in an area like history, philosophy, English. This is great for a student that might be thinking already about graduate study in musicology, music theory, American studies, one of the humanistic disciplines. For two years out of high school, I was uh, studying at a different school, studying English and Spanish, and then I decided I wanted to continue pursuing music, and once I got here, I learned about the BMA program and learned that I can continue studying English and Spanish alongside music performance. I thought that it was a really perfect fit for me. So I'm a horn player, but I also um, intend to go to law school, and I chose history courses to be my secondary emphasis because it uses the same skill set that I would use in law school, um, thinking critically about texts and writing, which will be very important skills when I'm a lawyer someday. We have an example of a track for music, mind, and body. This is great for a student that might be thinking about graduate studies in music therapy or might want to have interest in music cognition. In this example, the students go and take classes not only in music, but also in human anatomy and physiology and psychology, really drawing in a lot of the sciences that they might need for advanced work. In pursuing music therapy, I am taking classes um, in psychology and physiology. Um, and along with that, I'm also taking some general musical classes like uh, percussion methods, guitar lessons, along with my bassoon lessons, because that's my major instrument. A great track that we have, the arts administration option, is for students that want to combine musical study and performance with musical study as an executive. So those classes draw on options in our business school. It also provides students at CCPA an opportunity to think about graduate study and performing arts administration, a program that we have that allows students here to really work with executives and professionals who are out in the field already. In my BMA program, I'm doing performance and I'm doing arts administration. And so my performance courses are choir and voice lessons. And then in the arts administration, I'm taking fundraising and uh, marketing, finance, and business management methods for the arts. The music and events uh, option in the BMA is for students that want to think very actively about the professional work of planning music events. It draws really, really well on Roosevelt University's hospitality management program so that students are not only thinking about what it's like to perform, but all of the backstage, all of the work that it takes to book a venue, secure a location, and really care about the experience of the audience and the patrons.
So while students in the BMA have different secondary degree paths, we do have one common course, which is the BMA Colloquium. We have readings prior to the class, and then at the class we will talk about our thoughts and feelings on the reading, and, and it opens up an opportunity to debate and discuss ideas. My favorite thing about Colloquium is just hearing about what everyone is doing with their degree. I hear about people pursuing arts administration and hearing their takes on you know, contemporary musical issues compared to someone pursuing law or English, or in my case music therapy, and it just brings me to such a like, well-rounded view of the musical community. For a student in the Honors BMA program, a student who already has varied and diverse interests and really is already thinking about music as the place where all of those interests combine, being in a city like Chicago is phenomenal. It's really a city whose musical life is at the linchpin of history, culture, and society today. So I really quickly fell in love with the city and so being able to live here has been an amazing experience. Um, being right in the loop, we're able to attend performances all the time. Uh, I get to go to a Chicago Symphony concert every week, but there are also so many other genres like jazz and blues, uh, and those are sorts of concerts that you can't really experience all the time in other areas. In Chicago, there's um, an infinite amount of resources for both the arts and then in my case for law. You know, I study horn with John Bowen, who's the principal horn of the Lyric Opera Orchestra and the Grand Park Symphony. And that's a wonderful musical opportunity that I would get nowhere else. And also there's a wonderful law community. And just this week I was speaking with a partner at a law firm in Chicago and he wants to take me under his wing and help me through the process of getting into law school. Being in a big city like Chicago it provides me with a wide variety of opportunities. I can reach out to public schools or I can reach out to hospitals or just music therapy clinics in general and receive just training, internships, and just get a lot of experience before I pursue my master's degree. Chicago is such an open community when it comes to the arts and culture, and I feel that really fits into the overall mission of the BMA program. So if you're thinking about getting a music degree, but also pursuing academic interests beyond that, the BMA program at Roosevelt is a great option for you. I wanted to not only study at a world-class music conservatory with some of the best uh, teachers in the world, but I also wanted a very fulfilling and engaging education. And I think that Roosevelt is the perfect place to do both. I think the thing that inspires me the most about the BMA program is the opportunity to learn about how, as musicians and artists, we can create a better society. The community within the BMA program is absolutely amazing. We all know each other super well. Even if we don't interact on a day-to-day -day basis, we're all there for each other, supporting each other in our music and in our academics and even just in colloquium. Honestly, I couldn't be happier um, being in the BMA program and I can't imagine myself studying anything else anywhere else. A professional musician in the 21st century has to be versatile. It has to be someone who's thinking about not only what quality music we can make, but why we make music in the first place. The Honors BMA program is about asking and challenging the place of music in American society today, and I can't think of a more important topic.